now you've kind of familiarized yourself with the back office and the functionality of the back office and your WordPress dashboard, what we're going to do now is that we're going to change the home photo image. This is this image here with David Woods and his good lady. Now we're going to put your image in there. Now on my own blog, I have a picture of my family. You can have any image that you want. So look, let me just give you a few ideas here because not everybody joins the Empower Network to promote the Empower Network. You know, most of us do have primary businesses or, or, or we have, you know, we're affiliate marketers. We have businesses outside of the Empower Network. The Empower Network is a vehicle that teaches you how to make money in particular by blogging on the internet and, and much, much more. So you can change this blog to whatever way you want it to look. Now there isn't a great deal that you can do because you can change the, the home photo here and we can do something with the background. So in the next video, we'll look at uh, changing the background a little bit, okay? Kind of funk it up a little bit. So if you're not promoting the Empower Network, you, you might want a logo in there, a network marketing company, that type of thing. So, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you how to take a photo from let's say Facebook because sometimes other people take photos, better photos of us than, than what we've actually got ourselves. So you might want to go to uh, maybe your friend's uh, Facebook page or you know, I'll, I'll take one of their photos. So you can do this on, on the internet with any kind of image. So what I want to do is to show you how to change this home photo to whatever image you want. Now, the first thing that I'm gonna do is just show you how to take an image from Facebook. So I'm gonna take this particular image and this image is of my two nieces. Uh, you would like to think that butter wouldn't melt in their mouth. So a couple of months ago, it was Halloween. So I'm gonna go with like a Halloween theme just to give you an idea uh, more than anything else, what you can do with it. So first thing that we need to do is that we, we need to download this particular image. So we need to save it to a file. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna right click on the image. We're gonna save image as, And then what we're going to do, we're going to create a new folder. Now I'm going to call this Empower Network Images. All right. So I'm just going to double click on that. I'm going to open it up and we're going to change the name of the file to Ruby and Charlie, two lovely, lovely kids. Okay, so we've got Ruby and Charlie in there and then you want to save it. Now, the image that you need for your home photo is in terms of width, it needs to be 260 pixels and in terms of height, it needs to be 278 pixels. So I'm gonna show you where you can get your images resized for absolutely nothing. It's a great little tool that they've got, a great little website. So the website is called Resize Your Image. So the first thing that you have to do when you come to this site is you need to browse and browse your computer for those images. So we've got Ruby and Charlie there in that particular folder that we've saved. So you find that folder. So you can see it's under Empower Network Images. And all you need to do is just double click on that. Okay, so there's the image and it's width 342 by 337. We need to get that down to 260 by 278. So you, you can play around with this a little bit. I mean, this is probably the second or third time that I've used it, so it, so it is very, very simple. So we wanna go for width. Let's click on width. Um, we want 260, so let's type in 260 there and press OK and see where that takes us. So that's 260. Um, we want to go for height of 278. So let's go for 278. Let's see where that leaves us. Okay, so it's none too good. So what I'm going to do here, at least I think we can do this, if I go to, to that particular height there, and we zoom out of that, so we're trying to get those two in there without distorting the picture. Mm -hmm. 
and there we go we've got it at 260 by 272 let me just center that a little bit there now, I think that's perfect so now that's your image resized 260 to 272 all you need to do now is click on this big button which says resize image click on resize image and now it's going to give us a, a link here that you just need to click on so we're going to click on that link and I'm going to show you how I save it uh, to my computer so we're going to open it with the photo gallery which is the default and there we go we've got the image now in our photo gallery what I do is I take the image into paint to save the file I don't know any other way to do this so it's not something that I do a great deal of and we're going to open with paint and then I just want you to come over here when, when we open up into paint everybody has paint on their, their laptop or their PC so just follow these exact steps but I'm just going to save it here Okay. if that does come up then all you need to do is just click on pictures it takes you to the file of the pictures if you located your file just click on it you can see we've got the original there of Charlie and Ruby gonna go Ch Charlie and Ruby 2 so we know that it's been resized and then we're just gonna save it okay so that's all you need to do with regards to resizing your image Now what you want to do is come to your back office, log in, and start blogging. And then what you want to do here is you want to exit out of easy mode. So we're in easy mode at the minute, exit out of easy mode, appearance, click on appearance, go to home photo. So what we need to do now, we need to browse our computer for that particular image. And there we go, Charlie, Ruby and Charlie 2. Click on that. Then we need to upload the image. And then we can see the image has been uploaded. Now what we need to do now, we need to make sure that it's not caught up in our cache and that it has uploaded to the blog so all you need to do is come up here to visit site right click open it up in a new tab and let's see if the image appears and there we go job done so you can have any image that you want company logo anything that you've put together or an image out on the internet or it could be from somebody else's Facebook or from your Facebook if, but preferably if you're promoting the Empower Network I'd always say to put your own image in there or an image of your family or you know some, something along those lines to, to brand yourself so that people can see you but really you can do anything that you want so in the next video what we're going to do we're going to focus on the background image and I'll give you a couple of ideas okay guys so that's it for this video and I shall see you on the next video